So now if we switch to looking at the signals that we had on this circuit. So we put in a base volt, an AC base voltage here, the input signal that's there. And it's riding on top of a DC base voltage level. There's an emitter AC signal which is riding on top of the emitter level. And the difference between those two is 0.65 volts. So that's what we saw from the emitter follower. The collector, it's inverted. So when this is going up, it's going down. And it looks something like this. And its amplitude is the gain times the amplitude of this. And now what we need to do is we need to try to figure out where do we want to put these DC levels to be able to have the maximum output range or the maximum output signal. So we'd really like this to go from here all the way down to just touching the base voltage. And we'd like that to be as big as possible. If the gain were a factor of 10, then you, want to, you would want to push the base voltage down as close to zero as you could get it to leave the most space here. So now you need to actually set some voltage levels. But if we chose a gain equal to minus 10, VCC, let's just say 12 volts. And we want to amplify a 0.5 volt, half a volt input signal then we would expect the collector voltage to be minus 5 volts times the cosine of omega t. So we would like this here to be 5 volts. So we'd like that to be 10 volts. So we have to have 10 volts for the AC signal here, a volt for the input. And there's a volt here for the emitter, and it has to be make sure this doesn't go below zero. So that means the emitter voltage has to be at least a half a volt above ground. So the lowest we could push the base voltage is a half a volt plus 0.65 volts, or 1.15 volts for the base voltage. That would mean the maximum here is 1.65 volts. And that gives you a little gap between these two. So in principle, we could push it up a little higher. But the base voltage has to be, roughly speaking, between 1.15 and 1.35 volts. We need to set it there. That'll make sure this doesn't clip and gives us the maximum range here. So we're trying to set the collector voltage to sort of center it between here and here. So that's sort of the picture we're after. We're looking for a lot of range here and squeeze this as much as we can, but make sure that the emitter signal does not drop below zero, so we clip things. So that's what we would do to set up this amplifier.